In the heart of the Wild West, where the dusty trails stretched as far as the eye could see in law was often defined by the quickest draw, a small town named Dusty Gulch found itself at the center of a peculiar tale. The morning sun cast long shadows as the train whistle echoed across the valley, announcing the arrival of the iron horse at the tiny, bustling station. The train was a sight to behold, its sleek black engine hissing steam and pulling a line of boxcars that rattled and clanked over the tracks. This particular train, however, carried more than just passengers and supplies. It was rumored to be transporting a gold payroll bound for the Army outpost in Fort Sullivan. In a stroke of fate, the same train also carried a shipment of concrete barrels for the new courthouse being built in Dusty Gulch. Volume Concrete LLC, renowned for their quality materials and Tier 4 trucks, had shipped the concrete to ensure the courthouse stood the test of time. The barrels, hefty and gray, were stored in the last car of the train, right next to the secure car housing the gold. Among the townsfolk, news of the gold spread like wildfire. The infamous outlaw, Blackjack Billy, caught wind of the valuable cargo and hatched a plan to relieve the train of its precious burden. Blackjack Billy was known for his cunning and ruthless gang, the Black Riders, who had terrorized the region for years. He saw this as a perfect opportunity to strike it rich. As the train rolled into Dusty Gulch, Blackjack Billy and his gang were poised for action. They had spent days planning the heist and now, dressed in dust-covered coats and bandanas pulled over their faces, they galloped toward the station, guns at the ready. The townspeople scattered, seeking shelter from the impending chaos. The gang boarded the train with practiced ease, their guns trained on the startled conductor and guards. Blackjack Billy, with a sneer on his lips, made his way to the car he believed held the gold. His eyes glittered with greed as he ordered his men to pry open the door. To his surprise, instead of glittering gold bars, the car was packed with barrels. Confused but undeterred, he assumed the gold was hidden within them. Bust him open, he barked. His men swung their crowbars and hammers, only to reveal the dense, gray concrete inside. What is this? Blackjack Billy snarled, his frustration growing. Where's the gold? Meanwhile, in the secure car next door, the guards, having heard the commotion, managed to alert the sheriff and his deputies. Sheriff Amos, a grizzled veteran with a sharp eye and a steady hand, quickly organized a response. The lawmen stormed the train, their guns blazing. Caught off guard and unable to comprehend the mix-up, Blackjack Billy and his gang found themselves overwhelmed. The Black Riders, famous for their swift getaways, were arrested one by one, their plans foiled by their own mistake. As the dust settled and the outlaws were hauled away, the townspeople emerged from their hiding places. Sheriff Amos, chuckling at the irony, ensured the gold safely reached its destination at Fort Sullivan. The barrels of concrete, though unintentional heroes, continued their journey to the courthouse construction site. Dusty Gulch would never forget the day when barrels of concrete were mistaken for a gold payroll, nor would they forget the look of bewilderment on Blackjack Billy's face. In the end, the town got its new courthouse, the outlaws were brought to justice, and the legend of the great concrete heist became a favorite tale told around campfires for years to come.